The hardest part about the Israeli-Palestinian situation is that one of the countries is a aggressive settler colonial state that has made another group an objectively second-class citizen is practicing apartheid and um, is trying to systematically eradicate an entire race of people from the planet. And the other side is Palestine. So... Um, that's like that's like the main thing is like like uh I think it was um it was Greta Thunberg today was the one who tried to say like oh both sides are equally bad and it's like oh fuck no no uh what's it called some Palestinians fired some fucking bottle rockets that got blocked by the iron dome and uh they used they retaliated by murdering 20 people with fucking like airstrikes and including like children and stuff so yeah i mean if i was palestinian i would have absolutely no uh like i i i like if, no you want to know why aggressive rhetoric works for palestinians is because um they are literally being occupied it, it like it's it's a it's a it's a ugly ass situation uh but one is literally defending their homeland from uh from conquest and the other one is um like literally building colonies on top of ancient land that people have lived on for millennia like it's not even uh there's not even like much of a gray area there um do you think the struggles of native americans in any way parallel to the palestinians i mean they're both uh victor victims of settler colonialism so yes the same process of uh like violence removal and colonization like settle like the literal like settling upon their land and eradicating them from the pot from the world like that is very similar to uh what happened in the united states with native americans now with Native Americans, it was a much slower process because um, the United States was so much bigger and there was so much more room to run away into until they closed the frontier in like the 1890s. Uh, but um, yeah, you, it, it, in, in, it, it, there's, there are similar processes of settler colonialism at play for sure. The West Bank is the one that uh, is, the, is the part that has, uh, is essentially uh, under a semblance of peace but uh but israeli um colonies are being propped up on top of ancestral palestinian land and they're like illegal like uh what will happen the the process that's happening and this happened a lot in america too is that they're like this is the land that the palestinians can live on here's your west bank you're good and then they'll be like okay and then a bunch of israelis will set up a colony illegally in palestinian land and the Palestinians will be like, hey, fucker, get off our land. And what will happen is they'll appeal to the government and the uh, the government will come in and defend the colonizers and then just say that land belongs to them now. And then the people have to keep moving back. Um, Gaza is, mu is more independent. And yeah, there's a lot more like violence happening there. It's not only uh, the people who are currently living under the brutal heel of Tel Aviv, but also like the uh, slow conquest of Palestinian land has led to a massive refugee crisis. Uh, and now there is a massive multi-generational uh, Palestinian diaspora that yearns to go home uh, and they don't have a home to go to because, uh, you know, people are building literal colonies on top of their ancestral land. So... Fuck. Like, imagine, imagine if somebody tried, and this did happen a lot back in the, like, you know, 70s and 80s and stuff, that they be, that there was tons of people where their answer to things would be like, listen, I don't agree with apartheid, but the ANC uh, is using violence. And so if you think about it, both sides are really bad. Both Nelson Mandela and the uh, and the um, National Party in uh, in South Africa are both equally bad. One is white people who have all the power and have conquered all the territory and are forcing people into concentration camps, and the other side are fighting to stop that. They're both equally bad. <laughs> um, the parallels between like if there is any like historical parallel that makes sense, and honestly the context of Israel-Palestine is kind of like a unique one. But if there is anything close, it is 
And, and like the, the being afraid to take a stand and stuff like that is very close to what happened in South Africa. Like, uh, man, there's so many things to unpack with this. Yeah. Also, uh, Israel is a front in like the proxy wars that are happening between regional uh, hegemons in the Middle East. Because uh, if you don't know, the Middle East has a larger geopolitical like kind of Cold War going on between uh, m more or less like U.S. allied powers like Israel and Saudi Arabia and uh, Iran and sort of anti-American powers. <laughs> yeah, um, and so, yeah, that also there is like sort of like a Cold War proxy situation going on there as well.